For a long time we had been preparing for our trip to Iceland. And finally, the time had come. Our first stop was Landmannalangur, a geothermal area in the highlands. Here, fascinating volcanoes, colorful mountains and hot springs awaited us. We hiked through untouched nature, breathed fresh air and felt freer than ever before. The landscape was so breathtaking that we could hardly get enough of it. The different colors that arose from minerals were simply incredible, and the feeling of being a part of this beautiful nature was indescribable. We were thrilled and looking forward to everything that was yet to come. Traveling in a Suzuki chimney, which faithfully led us through the beautiful but barren landscape in Landmannalaugar. The small off-road vehicle was perfect for the rugged road and challenging passages. We often had to drive through rivers to reach our destinations. One of the most impressive experiences during our trip was the visit to the airplane wreck in Southern Ireland. We got up early at 6 a.m. to watch the sunrise and set out for the wreck. The hike took a little over an hour and led us through a barren but beautiful landscape. When we finally reached the wreckage, it has something ghostly about it, surrounded by the silent, deserted environment. The wreck itself was a US Navy DC-3 airplane that had to make an emergency landing due to bad weather conditions in November 1973. Fortunately, all passengers and crew members survived the accident. But the plane was never repaired or removed and has remained on the Black Sand Plane as a silent testament to the accident. Black Sand Beach in Iceland is a place where you can experience the rough and untouched beauty of nature. It was impressive to see the waves crashing against the rocks and rising spray. The rugged rocks rising out of the water give the beach a dramatic backdrop and offer a breathtaking panorama. There were hundreds of seabirds flying around the rocks and nesting in the cliffs. The combination of black sand beaches, rugged rocks in the water and abundant wildlife made this place one of our absolute favorites on the Iceland trip. through breathtaking scenery with rocks, rivers and waterfalls. The Hengifoss itself was surrounded by basalt columns and red rock, giving it a unique appearance. We couldn't get enough and took many photos to capture this moment. However, Hengifoss was only one of many impressive waterfalls we experienced on our trip. Another highlight was the Stodlagil Canyon. The landscape there is simply breathtaking and consists of a tall basalt columns that have a dark color and shimmer in the sun. The river that winds through the canyon together with the basalt columns forms a beautiful backdrop. Surprise. 
Phosphorus. We had heard little about this waterfall and it didn't seem to be as well known as its big brother Dentifus. However, as we made our way there, we quickly realized that this was one of the most beautiful and impressive hikes that we had experienced in Iceland. Although the weather was not very good, we were able to enjoy the breathtaking landscape to the fullest. The contrast of the dark rocks and the orange and red plants was particularly impressive. It almost seemed that if the colors of the vegetation were merging with the rocks and the waterfall, forming a beautiful unity. Offergild Foss itself, it's an impressive waterfall that plunges from a high cliff into the depths and landing in a raging river. Diamond Beach in the south of Iceland is a fascinating place where you can see a lot of impressive ice blocks on the beach. The ice blocks come from the neighboring Jokulsorlon glacier, which has been melting more and more in recent decades due to climate change, causing more and more icebergs to break off. Gordafoss is one of the most famous waterfalls in Iceland. It is located in the north of the country and is approximately 12 meters high and 30 meters wide. We were lucky enough to visit Gordafoss at sunset and it was an unforgettable sight. Verarund, also known as Verir, is a geothermal area in northern Iceland and another highlight of our trip. The place is known for his steaming springs, mud pools and fumaroles, which create an impressive scenery. We also visit the big Geysir, it was fascinating to see how the waters collapse inside the geyser before it eventually erupts. Continue the drive through the stunning volcanic landscapes in the west of the island. The road snakes through majestic mountains, offering us a fantastic view of the wild coast and rugged nature. The landscape here is so unique and spectacular that you feel like you're on another planet. Kirkjufell was undoubtedly strenuous, but the ascent was definitely worth it. Standing at the summit and enjoying the panoramic view was an unforgettable experience.
difficult to put into words the unique landscapes of Iceland. The landscape seems to have its own personality here and is displayed in a various of colors and shapes. The volcanic landscapes that look like a mosaic of black lava and the green patches of moss or the dark blue water that winds through the black sand beaches are a fascinating backdrop. From a bird's eye view, the pattern becomes even clearer. The colors and structures that spread out before us were simply incredible. The landscape in Iceland are curious and different, but that is precisely what makes them such an impressive place. At the end of our Iceland trip, we visit the Glamour Canyon, one of the most beautiful places in Iceland. Iceland trip was an unforgettable adventure that captivated us with its stunning landscapes and unusual natural phenomena. We fell in love with the rugged and beautiful landscape. Our explorations of the volcanic landscapes, glaciers and waterfalls deeply impressed us and showed us how impressive nature can be. We are sure that one day we will return to Iceland to discover and experience more wonders of this unique island.